Hello and welcome to this video. I'm just actually gonna take you through the process that I actually go through when it comes to creating anything such as my blog posts, my podcasts. Yeah, it's probably something that's really undefined. It's not perfect and that's not the whole point of this video. It's basically to show what my process is at the same time as highlight some things which I feel are useful to some people. In essence, at the end of the day, where does it start? I think the first thing that it normally starts with is getting somewhere to write ideas down. And I've experimented with a couple of things, obviously digital note taking, as well as things like writing on paper and scanning, taking a photo and scanning that, but that didn't really work well. And I always had a problem with keeping track of different ideas and different notebooks and different type of systems, such as I've tried Todoist, I've tried OneNote, I have tried Evernote as well. And none of them really stuck with me, but something that I wish was around 10 years ago, which we actually bought recently, was the Remarkable 2. So the Remarkable 2 is basically, all it is at the end of the day is a digital way to capture notes. So very similar to an iPad, which I already have with the Apple Pencil, that wasn't really doing justice for me. And at the end of the day, what I decided to do was get the Remarkable. And what the Remarkable does and feels like is a scratch pad, a piece of paper where I can put down all my ideas, write things down freely as if I had a piece of paper because for me in terms of the creative process, nothing beats a piece of paper. What happens after I capture my ideas? Well, let me say, how do I capture my ideas? So I capture my ideas on the Remarkable by doing a couple of things, mind maps, sketching a few things because all it is at the end of the day is a rough draft of all the ideas that I have. One of the good features or great features of the Remarkable is that you can make notes on your books. So I do prefer that method, but it always felt like a waste that you could or that you were writing into your books or writing on your books in pen or in mark with a highlight or anything like that. But because it's digital now, the Remarkable enables you to do that. It's not like the iPad doesn't do it, but there are just a couple of features with the Remarkable that just make it a remarkable product. I am able to make notes, scratch, highlight, and do whatever I want without feeling any guilt, without feeling guilty. And that really has helped because what I start doing is make is making notes in the margins of those pages. So with that on the Remarkable, it's just basically a place where I can scratch out and get rough ideas which are quite nice for me. From there, what the process is, is that I will convert that to a PDF. Obviously, that's a feature that comes with Remarkable, send that to myself after which I can either open up in my favorite note-taking app, which I'll mention just now, or I can actually keep it on the Remarkable itself and actually just make notes on my iPad. So the note-taking app, which is I'm not a pioneer of, there's so many other people which have recommended this, and it was through uh, YouTube channels like Ali Abdal as well as Thomas Frank, which I learned about this, which is Notion. And I was lucky at the time that they were speaking about it that it was free. So I use Notion religiously now. It houses all my ideas, all the things I need to refine. What I do from there is take my rough draft, which is basically the PDF or PDF version of what I made in Remarkable, or just open up the Remarkable right next to me. And what I do from there is actually start to take these ideas and concepts and start to put them down in Notion's format. The things that I think about, the things that I read, the things that I do have various forms of multimedia. So what I am able to do with that is that I am able to put so many things in Notion. I can write code in Notion. I can put diagrams. I can start doing a Kanban board. I can do so many things in Notion that actually make it really useful for me. I just basically use Notion to capture so many ideas. You can upload files. You can create uh, embedded web pages and links to other resources and websites. So at the end of the day, as I said, the Remarkable is there to get the core concepts and ideas, which are really important, which I can basically use to expand upon in Notion in order to get a finished product, which can be a blog post, which can be a script for a video. It can be a podcast. The possibilities are limitless when you're using Notion at the end of the day. So that is a rough overview of what I do in order to get my creative ideas out and how I store them and what I do with that afterwards will be in another separate video. But basically it's easy to, when everything is in Notion, it's easy to just copy and paste it into my WordPress or into a Word document or save it as a PDF to share to someone. And most of my thinking and a lot of, a lot of my organization and presentation and 
symmetry of well, not symmetry but yeah everything that i use to build a second brain basically happens on notion afterwards but at the same time they don't have mind mapping software and it doesn't replace the ability to write things down as if you had a piece of paper and a pen and that's what the remarkable is for me it's just basically a tool which gives me the possibility to have limitless amounts of paper as well as limitless amount of books that i purchase and obviously upload onto remarkable and i can scratch and do whatever i want without feeling guilty and that's really one of the best things that i guess comes with remarkable but you can never replace notion so both of them really work well i think what notion if i can actually sum it sum it up is notion is my file with all my textbooks and my remarkable is basically an exam pad where i can write down ideas which fit into the file of textbooks and that's that so i hope you enjoyed this take care and hope you stay tuned for another one bye